fuck. I'm just getting that now. Are you kidding me? Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play um, Red Dead Redemption 2. As you can tell by the title, I've officially gone from I think I hate Micah to I know I hate Micah. Actually, I think I've been there for a while. Okay, Abigail. Good morning, Arthur. <coughs> Reverend, <coughs> you okay, Mr. Morgan? I don't know, Reverend. These are challenging times for all of us. Yes. Very challenging. You don't seem yourself, somehow. I, I've always felt... I've left the morphine, sir. Arthur, I'm Reverend Swanson, would you excuse us a minute? Of course. New York. We are gonna go to New York. Now, they have been chasing us south and east and west. We're gonna get a boat, we're gonna get on a river, and we're gonna go north. New York. Then Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, or this place, New Guinea, dancing girls, freedom. But first, we have to make a whole lot of smoke, a whole lot of commotion. And then we disappear. We need more commotion? One score and one whole hell of a lot of noise. We ain't so good at doing scores anymore, Dutch. Are you feeling all right, Arthur? <laughs> sure, I'm fine. Pardon me for interrupting. I brought a friend, Arthur. Hello. Hello. Dutch. This is Eagle Flies. His father is a great chief. Charles and I, we... Um... Pretended to be mercenaries. He did me a great favor. Dutch Vanderlyn. How do you do? Not well, sir. Well, I am sorry to hear that. How's your father? Father is confused. Wisdom with weakness. His people, my people. We've suffered too much. Been lied to too much. Now they've taken our horses. Who? The infantry division posted at Fort Wallace. Why? Colonel Favors is a liar and a murderer. His people won't stop until we're all dead. Without horses, we cannot hunt. Without hunting, we will starve. This is another act of war. I see that. The men have helped me before, and I have money. Put your money away, son. What do you think, Charles? You know, I told your father I will not fight over some horses. <laughs> but I yes, she does, no honey. such promise. Come along. Yeah, Arthur, we must go with them. To try to stop things from getting out of hand. I guess. Come along. We can get them more horses. I know. I understand Eagle Flies is angry, but I don't see how this will help anything. Especially not with Dutch whipping him up into a frenzy. We got enough folks coming after him. Before I leave, I want to change clothes. Unless the game won't let me. Never mind, I guess I'm going out to do what we need to do. Thank you for this. You going to let these bastards walk all over you? No, you're not. This is all that's wrong with this world. Okay, boy. Okay. Young man, lead the way. The horses are on a boat near Van Horn. I have a man waiting for us there with some canoes. Surely this can be done without killing anyone. Of course! <laughs> what will be, will be. Anyway, son, tell me about this Colonel Favors. He's a vile man. He and his regiment take pleasure in persecuting us. 
All the young have been taken from our reservation, shipped off to reform schools. Many women, too. The older are weak. Get sick. They deliberately withhold medicine and supplies from us. This ends today. You have my word on that. Why are you getting involved in this, Dutch? You know me. We shoot fellers as need shooting. We save fellers as need saving. Feed them as need feeding. Not this again. It's been quite a while since we helped anyone but ourselves, and even you know that. I told you. Noise. We need noise, Arthur. Noise. And faith. I still don't know what... <laughs> Stop questioning and think, just think, for a second. The Pinkertons have had time to reinforce. The civilized world is closing on us. Who knows what else Molly told them? We need to move towards a conclusion, now. Sure, but what's this got to do with any of that? Some good, honest conflict between the Army and the Indians might be just the distraction we need. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> Cornwall was funding the Pinkerton's assault on us. Why do you think I dealt with him? With Cornwall gone, the government is far more likely to divert them to other issues, especially if there's one more scandal. And then we can see it. Put the way. Like I said, we just need that noise. And one more school. You know, I went back for the chest I had hidden outside shape. He fell, and we're close, Arthur. That dynamite, the railroad contract with the army, it was all in those papers Micah found. I have a plan. You just have to trust me. There's Peta. These men, like I said, they'll help us. I got the canoes. The boat is still moored in the channel. Good. Let's wait until nightfall. All right, we can set out. We need to get that boat ashore. I think the best plan is to paddle up there silently, border. Then when we got control, we'll deal with that anchor, float away. We'll be assured before anybody even knows what happened. Good luck. Try not to kill anyone, Arthur. Go to sleep. You mind the horses? I need to smoke.
So no killing, huh? Quite the best pilot I've ever come across. The horses are confused. We need to round them up. I'll get these four, Arthur. Can you go after the others? Okay. Cool, I'll be right back and you use the restroom.
coming back. Get these horses to shore. Must admit to himself that he is no longer a man. Will one of you help me return the horses to my men? Well, Arthur. W oh, Arthur needs to rest. I will. I like you, son. And after the horses, are we gonna wait for the army to come and wreak its revenge? I hope not. Of course we ain't. Now let's go check out that fort of theirs. Is this a good idea? This is the only idea. And it is one that will suit both of our purposes. Fighting the army ain't wise. Stop worrying. Oh, and Sadie told me about Combe. Meet us at Doyle's Tavern in San Denis when you can. Shall we go, son? Certainly. We'll start some light reconnaissance out of Fort Wallace, and when Combs dealt with, you come meet us there. We'll set up a good spot for you. I don't know, Dutch. Yeah, well, I do. This is exactly the distraction that we need. Your father said that fighting was an impossible gamble. There's no winning for you in this. Your father need not know anything. He'd rather live in ignorance. Come along, gentlemen. Your father would rather you did not do anything so foolish. I said I would stop this from happening. Would you talk to him? Speak with Rangeful. Yes. Would you? Sure. Oh. I'll speak with him. If it keeps me from speaking with Micah, yes. I cannot express how much I hate Micah. I understand. Thank you, Arthur. Yep. But he's the closest one. So I guess I'm going to be doing his mission. Yeah. I hate him so fucking much. Now I'm going to go see uh, Sadie. St. Denis, I can do this. Stable. I ain't going to do my mission yet. Oh. Do that once I get a new horse. That's assuming I can even get into the city.
I make this was mine. Good saddles is almost as important as a good horse. Nice. You only live once, lest you're a cat. That's a nice addition on a saddle. Adding on to a saddle helps personalize it. Always good to have one of those. All right, you bet. I got one of them myself. Let me get my phone ready real quick. I want to look up a name. Looks I'd steer clear of the wind folk in this town. These either too churchy or liable to get you itchy. Good. Nice bit of grooming. People take notice. Appreciate it. Wish more folks stood. That's a good name for him. Creed. Here, they're horses like you. Now I have a horse. Might have got some horse sense. I'm gonna go to the gunsmith so I can gold this weapon out. So where is the gunsmith? He is right here. So let's go see him.
Got big mouths, don't you? Bet you wouldn't miss some teeth. Goddamn lunatic! <laughs> they were being douchebags. They know I have. To, I think Dutch knows it too. Hitcher. Hitch old Creed. And for those of you just joined me after a while missing my videos, yes, I did have a horse named Voices at one point, but she died. You must have been traveling for a while. Customize. I can help you choosing something. Looks like you've been taking good care of that gun. We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. Alright, Varnish, I want to do Dark Rosewood if I can find it. There it is. There we go. Thanks for your assistance. Boy. Right. Let's go see Sadie. I guarantee you this this uh, falls into a shootout. Buenos dias. Head still rolling from the road. You worry about me. There you are. Here I am. Come on, let's go. Let's go where? Why are you so riled up? Today is a great day, Arthur. Today is the day they are going to hang Comb O'Driscoll. That's so. Rather they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are gonna disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. We keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Colm hung me up, nearly butchered me. That don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Colm. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. The 
keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. <laughs> Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? Hey, you two quit it. Y'all got a job to do, and we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right, then. Come on. We got a hanging to witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Okay. All right. Good. Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. What a surprise! I'm glad we're here. What are they pointing at? I don't know. We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh. Come somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey. Hey. You know I wasn't going to let it come to that. Well, I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Como Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. That's something to write home about. Let's go, quiet. Cops. How many? Enough. So what do you think? Paul's up on the roof. Once he starts shooting, we have to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah. I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there on one of these verandas, through a building maybe. Get him, and do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Oh, Arthur, here's a ladder. Find a way up to the roof and stop him. I'll go back to the tower. There's a shooter then. Why were the doors that just led to a rooftop? <laughs> That's like a weird design standpoint, if you ask me by a building. This is the rifle I use. One of the rifles I used in a. That us from what you call it? Uh. Yet justice itself can at times be barbaric. 
For sometimes a man is so savage, the only way to deal with him justly. Uh, Sniper Elite Four. Savagery. Colm O'Driscoll is one such man. He has murdered, tortured, robbed, stolen, raped, and abused for a decade across five states seemingly with impunity. Today, justice catches up with him. <laughs> As well you may. I've been a bad man. Silence! These charges This is not a court where you shall be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out. And your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be hanged by the neck until you are dead. This is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. But it is a task we must carry out if our civilization is to prosper. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisk. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> now you know how it feels to watch somebody you love die. You ruined my life! Thanks, Sadie. Was that not a kill? I shot you in the fucking head. Can I cut the rope? Ah. Guess not. Okay. Stay with me. I can't get a shot on him. Fuck you. Fuck you. Brain him. Oh, okay, I really don't like this thing. Come on. Brain him. Well, we got him. Let's just get out of here. Go. Get on, Arthur. Well, and we saw the bastard hang okay, but no thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, Como Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Okay. I know it's from that Mary. Mary? She ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up. 
And now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur, but he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again, and I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself, but you must let me go now. I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this, for it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye, Mary. Let's go, boy. Alright, so there's that. Now, my next course of action is to go see, uh... <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. Micah. And refrain from killing this asshole. These is Murphy Hills. I got his horse. He got your horse. Now get down off the. That was a funny glitch. Looks like I threw the gun and I used the force to bring it back. I like that. That was funny.
There's actually a Western movie that I own and I have and I have quite good memories of uh, called uh, The Magnificent Seven. Uh, I'm talking about the remake, by the way, not the other one. Oh, this son of a bitch. I hate this guy. Ah, there he is, old Black Lung Morgan. Shut up. Was you followed? Excuse me? Was you followed? Do you know who you're talking I to? I ain't sure. I ain't sure about much no more. All I know is there's law whenever you're around. Is that so? Mm. Because it seems to me that since you've been riding with us, there ain't been nothing but trouble. Stirring things up all the time, getting in Dutch's ear. Seems wherever you is, there's Pinkertons and vice versa. So you better watch your goddamn mouth, boy! <coughs> or... <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy, cowboy. You're gonna do yourself a mischief, way your head. Micah, shut it! He started it! <sighs> Dutch says we is to go on with plans to create a diversion. We gotta get some explosives to blow up the bridge. Keep the army out of here a few days. I think it's a real bad idea. I don't think Dutch cares too much what you think. That's clear. We gotta confuse him one last time. Then he and I will head to Blackwater, collect the money, and help everyone leave. He's got a boat lined up. Blackwater's a fool's errand. Everyone knows it. Even a greedy moron like you. It's Dutch's choice, Arthur. You're just a senior gun, same as the rest of us. Jeez. Only you ain't well. I'm fine! Then you'll do Dutch's bidding. Which is robbing a stage that's coming from Annisburg full of explosives. Rob a stage. All we seem to ever do is rob a stage, you and me. Not me. You two. I got my own planning to do. You boys got this. Shit. Guess we have. Come on, Arthur. And cowpoke. You take it easy. You could do with a vacation. <laughs> All right, let's go. All right, uh, you can give me like 20, 30 minutes so I can finish this video and then get dressed. I'll be good. Yeah. Let me finish this video. I only have like 10 minutes left in this video, depending on how long this Red Dead 2 mission lasts. Alright. Give me a little bit. Back. says we should jump it as soon as it comes through Van Horn. So you're taking orders from him now? I'm taking orders from Dutch, same as always. <sighs> the pair of them are becoming unhinged. You hear about Dutch killing Cornwall? Hey, hold up a second. Pinkerton patrol over there. Okay, I think we're clear. Let's head off. Anyway, you were saying... Well, that needed to be done. Right now? With the Pinkertons breathing down our necks? See, I'm starting to think that you've gone soft, Morgan. Okay. Let's hold up here. Wagon will be coming from that way. Down from Annisburg. And it'll take the two of us to stop it completely, or it'll never get done. So I was thinking, you go play dead, and I'll take care of him. <laughs> no, I'm the better shot, and you, you're the better actor. No, you play dead, and I'll cover you. I got that. <coughs> I got that. Oh, that's them coming now, I think. It'll be quite the show. <laughs>
Go. Okay, I absolutely kind of hate this rifle. Let's see here. Boom headshot. Brain them. Boom brain shot, bitch. Hello. Shut up, Bill. Okay, it must have hit his hat. Just the side of his hat. What does the mask do anyway? I'm already wanted. the hot shot Go drive this over to Bacchus Bridge. Get a hidden near there. He really does think Bill, he's in charge. You go on ahead. I need to speak with Arthur. Good work, son. What's going on? Listen, I know we ain't always seen eye to eye, and uh, you find me irritating 
and a threat, and I like to annoy you. But right now, I need better from you, Arthur. Okay, Micah. Whatever you say. I ain't the bad guy you think I am, Arthur. Bullshit. I am a survivor. Stick with me and you'll live. Oh, the bridge is probably a two-man job. You should probably go help Marston. Why don't you? Like I said, Dutch and I got planning to do for the train. There's a big picture here, Arthur. Trust me. That mother fucker. All right, guys. So my plan is right now to save the game, which is up here. And that be it for this video. Uh, next time we'll be... Find out if I'm right and if Micah is a fucking snitch, because I have a feeling he is. Stay alert there, Javier. Hi, Arthur. John. Arthur. Hey, I'm here. You're a wrong man. A wrong man. I'm not right with you. Are you talking to me, old man? Mind your manner. I've minded them long enough. None of our problems is my fault. None at all. All right, guys. I'll see you. I will see you next time for part part forty. I'll see you then.